Well, hello again, y'all. Uh, let's see. Tonight we're going to be doing um 11 by 14 canvas, a smaller canvas, which I've not been doing. So let's get started and see what painting I will put on canvas. I mixed up uh, some crimson and some blue to make a sort of like a lavender color. We're just going to pop in our sky. I'm just gonna, this, this time I'm just gonna well something like that with the sky. Of course, I'm gonna leave some uh, some empty spaces so I can make some clouds. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put some crimson and some yellow in there. Using that same brush, I'm just gonna swirl in some crimson. That looks like a mess, but we ain't done with the painting, so we'll see what we come up with. Next, we're going to blend this all together. Just um, probably take this blue down. I think I'll just maybe put some nice water in this one too. Yeah. Looks a little better. Let's see what we come up with. I just added some uh, acrylic white. I'm going to go with acrylic white. I found that you can mix acrylic white with oil. Doesn't interfere with the painting, so I just ran out of regular oil paint, so oil white. So we're just gonna go make some little clouds. This time I'm gonna instead of I'm just gonna pull down on these clouds. Of course, acrylic's gonna dry up fast, so I need to hurry. Now, <laughs> excuse me, now I'm going to swirl these clouds out since the acrylic has not dried yet. Something like that. Next I'm going to add some more acrylic white. And it's going to do the same thing. Some hint of clouds or some little indication of clouds. Acrylic's already dried and there are little clouds that are floating up there. Next, I'll probably do another one and make some layers. Next, I'm going to go into some brown, a little bit of brown, and just, maybe just a little. little cloud is floating below the, those white ones. Of 
course in this technique, Bob Ross's technique, keep that brush moving, turning. Just blend it out. That, that acrylic white cloud I just made is going to stop that brown and you're going to get an effect like that. I'm going to highlight that brown cloud with some white. Go into back into the acrylic white over the oil. It's going to little maybe hint of light in the brown cloud. Or if you call it a pollution cloud. <laughs> and that little nice little puffy cloud sitting up there. Next we're just going to drop in some uh, background material. I'm going to go into some, uh, let's see, we'll take maybe some phthalo blue and some yellow it's gonna go up in here do something like this to indicate some uh, background foliage that's in the distance. Turn the brush over, and then I'm just going to tap the bottom of that. You can tell that blue takes over that yellow color. Blue is stronger than that yellow. Step back. We got something like that. Next, I'm just going to pull down some water. Having pulled down some water, I'm just going to level the water, make it flat. I think over in here I'm going to have like some grass and some trees that are going to just wrap around this whole composition like this. So let's see what we come up with. Take my palette knife and I'm just going to maybe scratch in some. Did this on another video, some little. Little branches that are far away. Just cutting through the paint. Just taking away from the paint. Step back. Looks pretty nice. I'm going to put just a touch of highlight on these trees back in here. With some, uh, yellow um, and green on the brush. I'm just going to go make some little indication of some highlights. Of course, not too much. You want to keep your distance. This little indications. back. That looks pretty nice. Let me just soften this one and this one. Kind of a little bit too bright. That looks good. I like that. Next I'm uh, probably sparkle this um, water. Go into some, uh, some of this white, acrylic white. 
gonna start from the side and pull down, working my way across. Come back the other way, then this gives the water a little bit of shimmer. Next, I'm gonna go into some of this dark color I made off camera. Just gonna maybe. like a little grassy area. It starts right up in there. Step back. Got a nice little colorful painting going. Next, maybe in here is going to be some land or water lines. Let's see. It's going to go take some of this acrylic white, get this oil into that acrylic, come up with a gray color. Let's see. I'm just going to go right up in here and just do some little bit like this. I'm gonna scrub that in and fill my reload my brush. I mean my knife, sorry. <laughs> Have something like that. Then let's reload the knife again. Got something like that. I'll smoothen that out with a fan brush next. Having smoothened this side out, I'm gonna highlight this, take some yellow and some of that blue. Makes a nice green color, very nice green color. I'm gonna load my brush heavy. Come right up in here. It's a good close up. Come right up in here. And it's gonna going to tap, push into all those nice little highlights. I'm going to reload my brush again. It's going to swirl and get that highlight on the edge of the bristles. It's going to, there you go. Step back, see what we got. So far, so good. Next, I'm gonna have some trees just hanging off over here. I'm gonna go into that dark color, pull it out, and I'm just gonna maybe it is a tree to start right here. A little, it's Right there with the palette knife. There's another little branch like that. And maybe, maybe one right up in here. So I'm just gonna reload my palette knife. Just gonna, gonna st stamp in. little tree. Let's have to it's like you're making water lines. You can move it. If you mess up you could just 
do something like that and still makes an indication of a nice tree. Then maybe I'll have one right here and one right here. I made a little pinkish color. We're going to use that just to indicate a little pretty little pink little highlights on these trees. Step back. It looks very nice. Next I'm going to come forward and um, add some more trees. This painting is almost done. Come right up in here and um, I'm just going to draw in a little a big little indication of a tree that's right here. Next I'm going to highlight that. Next I'm going to highlight this area right here. Of course, this and Bob Ross technique save the shadow areas. Don't cover all the highlights. The whole tree with highlights. Leave that dark in there. And I'll just reload my brush. And this probably is cover. Make some indication of some the sun's hitting right up in here brighter. Step back see what we got. It looks pretty nice. I'm gonna take some uh, yellow and I'm gonna highlight the highlight this area with the palette knife. It's gonna back and forth. Almost like just doing it with the brush, but the knife really makes it sparkle. Makes it come alive. See that? It's like that. I'm going to continue to add just a little bit of white. Come down in here. Till I run out of paint on the knife. Then maybe right up in here to finish it off, I'll just sparkle this part with some white, pure white. So let me go into some. Come right up in here. But not too much. That looks pretty good. Last I'm going to smoothen this out and sign it. It's going to smoothen these, this, barely go over those grassy areas, kind of smooth them out. Smoothen out this area. And we got something like that. Next world, we're going to sign that. Call it done. Okay, we're going to come up right up in here and just sign this. Step back. And there's another completed painting. Uh, this painting, is, of course, will be on auction on eBay. You're welcome to bid on it. And um, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, painting channel, and have a nice evening. Bye-bye.